Stab, Abby and Matt, the B105 Breakfast Show. Hey, welcome to the podcast, everybody. Great to have you with us today. Um, a lot of funny calls in today's show, yeah. which is always good. Mm-hmm. There was one call I didn't get, though. Mm-hmm. What one? The one that she said, my my... Did she say my partner or my wife, wife? and my wife's girlfriend? And her wife's girlfriend. Yeah. Think, or is it just friend? No, just friend. Yeah. Could, it could be. I, I think, think so. I think you thought because of girlfriend and she is already a same sex couple mm. that maybe they were hooking up, but it might just mean like girlfriend. Friend, yeah. Not yeah, girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it could okay. mean girlfriend. Could do. Yeah. But interesting. Yeah. Mm. Um, you'll hear that in there. Plus, we'll give you answers to Alpha Bucks at the end. Let's get into it. Here's today's podcast. The B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. I reckon this is the worst year we've had for sicknesses. Yeah. I don't know about you guys, but yeah. our house has just been like, really? Influenza A? To, mm-hmm. Is that COVID? Is that what? It just feels like there's a lot going around at the moment mm-hmm. uh, compared to COVID <laughs> times. Mm. Oh, we're little, all away from each other, I guess. Oh, yeah. So maybe we haven't got the immunity. But uh, we've had our middle child who uh, gets sick the most mm. just because he's got autoimmune. So anything he catches. It's just and- to get attention. That's what yeah. middle children do. <laughs> I know you can relate to him. I know, I'm here. I know you get along very well. I know you really do. There don't. is a soft spot in my heart for Lee And he wasn't contagious. We sent him back, and the teacher was like, You can't come back. And I was like, Oh, God. Mm. Anyway, so he's been at home, and uh, my darling husband has had to take time off mm-hmm. to be at home with him. And he's like, That's okay. I've got heaps of paperwork to do. Now, I would normally say he can't have the iPad when he's homesick because that's a sick day, but my husband's in charge, so whatever. So what does he do on a sick day? I, I guess, what do, you, what do you mean, what do you do? He sick. rests and he catches up on homework oh. and we're allowed to watch a movie. What do you mean? You can't make sick days good, otherwise you'll never get them to school. That's the whole point. <laughs> no, it? it's not. That's, anyway, you do your house, this is our house. But then I was like, <laughs> he had the iPad because Scott was in charge. Mm. No worries. So you do and your I got house, a notification. Scott, house. Yeah, of course. <laughs> And I got a notification um, from the iTunes that there was add-ons for games mm-hmm. and we're not allowed to buy add-ons. Scott's rule. He's like, you are not wasting money on computer games. And we had an issue with Jagger. And he has sick skin. <laughs> he had an issue with him because he spent up to $120 on add-ons. Yeah, and we're like, well, that's do. your Christmas present. Yeah. And then we had to put a blocker on his. So he has to ask permission. Mm. And I accidentally had taken that off. And I got the notification for like $22. And I was like, oh. So I went home and I was like, hey, you've just done it. He goes, no, I didn't. I was like, you have to tell the truth. This is getting ridiculous. You can't lie about it because I've got the notification. Mm. But when I got the notification, it doesn't say who's purchased it. And he said, I haven't. And I said, come on. And he does this little smirk. He's like, I honestly haven't. I was like, no worries. And then I text my son, who should not be having his phone at school, but when they're changing subject, sometimes it's in the locker. And I said, what did you buy? From iTunes. And he goes, I haven't. I was like, this is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. I said to Scott, look at them. All of them are denying it and I'm going to log on and I'll find out whose it is. And Scott goes, yeah, they can't buy things. I said, I know. I log on and look up and I'm like, Scott, did you just buy an add-on for a game? <laughs> and he's like. What's he playing Candy Crush or something? Nah, he's got like some sick car game and he wanted to buy a new car. I was like, <laughs> was, that was your rule. He's like, yeah, but it keeps me off, like, it keeps me from going out. I said, what do you mean? Mm. Oh, I love that. That's such a, I do that excuse. excuse. Well, I'm not going out drinking. and mm-hmm. I'm like, No, go out drinking and hook up with girls. I don't care, but don't buy computer games. That jumped. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hello. Well, I'm going to get something from iTunes and see what happens in my house. <laughs> he's just such a man child, though, where I was like, it's, and he's like, yeah, because, and I was like, I thought you were doing paperwork. He's like, yeah, but I got really bored. So then, like, Jagger was on this car game, and then I wanted to copy him. I'm like, what, because your siblings? <laughs> got one, you had to get it? Yeah, fair's fair. Mm. Do you buy add-ons for games? No, nah, I don't really See, play games. even you I've, play I've, for... I've, I've deleted games because I'm like... You I'm, have to grow I, up. I'm buying too many add-ons on these and it's ridiculous and stupid. <laughs> but I bought a few before I got to that point. It's really... it's it's They make an absolute fortune out of people, those things. Well, that's their, bo- their business model. That's yeah. why when people go, no, the game's free. Oh, that's because you've got to spend $80 in it to yeah. make it playable. Mm. Yeah, so now I've got to put yeah. a block on his. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You've been blocking him for years. <laughs> oh, I just go, he's just, I get it. He's a fun person. Mm. But it's just every time I walk around the corner, I'm like, can you guys stop wrestling? And then Scott goes, he started it. I'm like, <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> yeah, Esther's told me that um, I'm not allowed to suck whack Xander anymore. <laughs> 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 what? You do that? But he did start no, it. He a, did it you're first. You're the adult. I only do it in retaliation. You're the adult. It's a retaliation. 
Mm. I never do it first. Mm. He does it to me, and then I go... <laughs> the reason that we have to stop is because he started doing it at school. Oh. That's when Did it, he get in trouble for it? And did yeah. he say, my dad did it? No, well, you did no. it to me in the meeting. Yeah, but... I started it. You started it. <laughs> <laughs> and then let me give you a piece of advice. Never play that game with someone who's got a longer reach than you. <laughs> yeah. Good point. <laughs> yeah. It's my fault. I knew it when I married him. But I you, love you, him. But, but you just... might have thought he might have grown up. Oh, you think you do. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah, a Peter yeah. Pan. Yeah. So that's a warning to Ash. Ash thinks her partner's going to grow up. Um, and he's been really sick, the poor guy. He's been really sick. And he was really upset because he had to. What did he have to get before he did his computer raid last night? Oh, he had some lollies. He needed. Uh, he had a sore throat. Mm. He couldn't have a nap because his throat was so sore before mm. he played his games at night. Yeah, you can't go so raiding to with get, a sore throat. Yeah, mm. he need to get some lozenges before his eight pm raid. What game does he play again? World of Warcraft. It's pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> it's important. <laughs> it is important. Mm-hmm. But you don't do it anymore. You grew up. What's that? Your computer games. No, I don't. I bought a PS Five about seven months, eight months ago. Yeah. Does Rory ever play? No, she can't touch my games. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's Dad's game. That's Dad's game. She we don't want to grow up. You just make. Why us. do you want to grow I, up? I, yeah. I, I don't want to grow up either. Then. Yeah, we well, don't. Yeah. But then, but someone has to in the household. We have to have an adult in the household. No, you don't. Buy one. The best times. <laughs> the best times are when there were no adult. Yeah, true. But I can't. No I, one ever went. Oh, guys, all right, <laughs> let's all shape up. Mum and dad are away. You're like, let's plan a party. Yeah. And but, that's the biggest problem in this world. But is people, we all grow up. But then I need to get them to school. Like, there's someone in the household Do that needs know? to be responsible. I mean, school. So you, I, I'll just be irresponsible. Try it. See what happens. I mean, if the house doesn't burn down, you know well, what? I'll just you. sit on the couch and go, "Hey, what's for dinner?" Nah, don't like that. Uber eats. We'll Uber eat something. Mm. Um, what do you want to know here? You want to hear about... Have you got a man-child? Yeah, okay. 13, what's, 10, what, 60. What, what's, what's the story? Have you got what a man-child? That man-child could also be a woman. If you're a man who wants to uh, ring yeah. up, I, I live with a man-child. Yeah. She just happens to be a woman. Mm. Is there a woman-child? Do we have... Yeah. I mean, it's not really a saying, though, is it? It's not, but maybe it could be after Me, this. Men wouldn't use derogatory terms like that. No. Uh, 13, <laughs> 10, 60. We'll take your calls next. The B105 <laughs> Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. I went on a bit, of, a bit of a witch hunt in my house of who had bought add-on because my husband was like, no one's allowed to buy add-on games. It's a waste of money. No way. So after I asked all the kids and they denied it, it ends up that it was my hubby. <laughs> Did you not realise that that's what you were asking or he just didn't want to tell you and get in trouble? He was quiet in the house, mm-hmm. just thinking, oh, she'll, she'll finish this soon. Oh, yeah, she'll, she'll finish this soon. Yeah. Cool, so then when I logged on, on and saw his iTunes, he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, keeps me, keeps me off... The streets. <laughs> <laughs> was that, that it? Excuse. Was that? Yeah. <laughs> you know, when I bought that hot tub at home, that yes. was I bought that, and that whole it was like seven thousand dollars, and I was like, well, I'll never ever have to leave the house because yeah. I'll just either be in the hot tub. Yeah. Um, and, and meanwhile, all the wives are going, "It's okay, you can leave the house." <laughs> <laughs> Please leave the house. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll drink less if I buy a new mountain yes, bike. Yes. Like that'd be good for my health. <laughs> man child. <Yeah. laughs> Lisa and Wenham, do you live with a man child? Oh, my God. I have the biggest man-child. No one can beat my man-child. I'm okay. telling you, I'm 66. <laughs> what does he do? I came home from work yesterday. He retired a week ago. Uh-oh. And our grandson's porridge with baking on the counter had been there all day. Oh, no. Just the remnants of it. And, no, I said, can you, what, why haven't you washed that out? And he said, "Well, it's not mine. <laughs> it's not mine. Oh my god, it's his. It's his. that that kid." And then he said, "And by the way, what's for dinner?" Yeah, oh, yeah, nah. Yeah. <laughs> you've got, you've got. To, if it's only been a week, Lisa, mm-hmm. um, to, I feel for you. Go to Bunnings. Get him a job at Bunnings. Get him out of there. The greeter. The that's greeter. what I always think would be good. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be good at that. Oh, no. no. None of them would get in there. He'd just <laughs> chew their ear off. And they would never be like, i got to go. Point. You know what I need to do? I'll oh, just take it. No, nah, no, nah, just take it. It's good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Jode. Hey there. Uh, you've got to um, tell us about your man child. I have a man child, but I'm going to preface it by saying that my man child does a lot around the house. Okay. Yeah. He does make sure that everything's done before he gets on those video games. Because uh. he knows then I've got nothing to complain about. Yeah. Yes. So, so he yeah. does his chores he does before he gets to play. Washing. He, but at the same time, I ended up, I started playing with him. I just thought, you yeah, know what? Mm. Screw it. So we play Fortnite together, myself and my husband, 
and then my sister and my brother and law all get on on a weekend mm-hmm. and we all play Fortnite together and just distress from the kids for a few hours. Love it. I like that. Do the other kids impressed and... with your abilities on Fortnite? I started playing Fortnite when it was actually like a mobile phone app. So mm. I've always kind of wanted my kids in that area. Uh-huh. They think they're better than me, but they're not. Right. Oh, I like that. So you're crack, See, that's impressive. as the kids say. I'm crack. I am absolutely yeah. crack. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you also, I'm when you play, scream? Do, do you scream down your headset, he's hacking, he's hacking? <laughs> Yeah, no, we have actually taught our kids that none of that stuff, that's all just BS, that bad yes. people say when they can't play the game. Yeah. Thank you, Jadie. Right. He's sweating, Thank he's you. a sweat, yeah, he's no, a sweat. No, you just can't play. <laughs> no, he's hacking. <laughs> that's my mythic. God, what is it? It's the opposite of a man child, just a nag? Or what are we, like, old before your time? Mm. Mm. How's your cardi going over there? It's warm, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> James and Pimper, mate. Are you the man child? Well, the last two don't even compare. I've got five children, yep. but not, none of them existed until they were two because that, before that they were boring. Okay. Once they started walking, you could have fun. Uh-huh. You want to be their best friend. You don't want to be their parents. I love gaming. I love playing COD. love playing Fortnite. My boy started getting better than me, so I upgraded my rig so he couldn't. <laughs> um, like, it, it's what fun's about. Mum yeah. walks around with him, but this isn't right. Oh, that's not right. That's cool. We're playing games. We'll be off shortly because it's live and we can't jump off. Yeah. Oh, can't, my God. Can't pause, James. Yeah. Can't pause. Oh, my God. Yeah. If you're playing ranks, it matters. You can't stop a ranked yeah. game. You so gotta finish rank game. You just, and then if the other rank game just starts, I can't I can't yeah. stop. Oh. You can't stop. Leave us alone. So you just you just <laughs> um, you had kids so you could have some mates by the sounds of things. Yeah, hundred percent of them. James, you know what is cool, and that's what I love oh. about my ten year old, is I get to play with all the toys that he gets. So, 100%. And I'll, go, I'll buy all the toys I could, my parents couldn't afford for me. Yeah. Uh, I'll buy for my kids and I'll get to now play with them. Yeah. I'm yeah. such a lucky childhood. Yeah. That's yeah. when so I was devastated when I had a girl. Toy. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> she used to play the games. Yeah. That's like my. So, uh, yeah. I had a girl first, but she became my boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. My uh, my brother loves golf so much yeah. he wasn't allowed to play because it's too long. Mm. So he really invested in his son mm. to get him to like golf. So it's always like, oh, I've got to hang out. I've got to hang out. Time. Yeah, it's quality Brilliant. time. Quality time every day. Mm. Even on Friday, pulls him out of school because it's quality time. Wow. Mm. You know, got to raise these men right <laughs> to know that Fridays <laughs> is for the boys. The B one o five breakfast show with Stav, Abby, and Matt. It's like a part of my job, the Instagram. Use Instagram. Instagram. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen it. Um, there's been this filter going around on um, Instagram, but it's also a chat GPT feature, I think, where you can get uh, roasted via who you are on Instagram. The mm. the best thing about Instagram is it's the life that you want people to believe that you live, not necessarily the real one. That's true. Mm. Very That's true. true. All the uh, tourism websites, uh, Instagram posts have done it. So it's like, uh, yeah, 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 so Queensland has uh, done it. So it's all just saying about your Instagram makes it look like Queensland's greatest hit on repeat. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah, yeah, I know. It, I mean, it's really hard to roast Queensland with all those beautiful photos. Though, exactly. Now, before we go any further with this, I'd like to point out to ChatGPT that I've always been polite to AI and I would like it to reciprocate in kind. Yeah, yeah. cute. It ain't going to happen. <laughs> now, Ash, our producer, uh, she is in and... She's done this. So yeah. is, is this the filter on Instagram that you did this through or is this? No. The... Oh, you actually on... did a different one. It's on chat GPT. So all you have to do if anyone wants to try it, just take a screenshot of your Instagram feed with all the pictures in it. Mm-hmm. And then you put that into chat GPT. You put the photo in and you say roast my Instagram feed. And did you do it like just recently, like this morning? Yep. Yeah, I just want to know if it was pre or so, after cheerleading. Mm. Oh, right. But it's it's the page, though, so those photos should be in there. You know yeah. I mean? It's like the, the page of all the photos that you've recently done. Yeah, like the last... Like, yeah, that's what I meant. The last yeah. few lines. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so all the last few lines is cheerleading, yeah, right. where before mm. that... Uh. Even imagine if you think, oh, I'm going to scroll back and see if it'll say something nicer, but it just gets worse and worse. <laughs> yeah. And keep, keep uploading. <laughs> it's so funny anyway. So I've done... Each of yours. Uh-huh. Stav, we'll start with you because you're nice to the robots, okay. apparently. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is your roast of mm-hmm. your feed. Okay. Okay. Your Instagram feed is the digital equivalent of a dad bod. <laughs> Soft, confused, and trying way too hard to hold on to its prime. <laughs> it's like you threw a bunch of random photos into a blender and hit mediocre. Whoa. Oh. Ja. 
between the sad car flexes, outdated memes and awkwardly funny moments, it's clear you're desperately grasping at straws to stay relevant. The X-Men nostalgia isn't doing you any favours either. Wow. Newsflash, reliving the 90s doesn't make you cool. It makes you look stuck in the past. Honestly, your feed is the visual representation of giving up. Just stop. Is that chat GP? Yes, or is that you? Yes, it's, it's chat GPT. <laughs> it's not. Wow, that was you so do s- post a lot of car photos. I do. Yeah. <laughs> but then X-Men 97 was one of the greatest television shows of this year. I you know, know what hurts about these mm. is they're on point. Mm. Yeah. And that's what's terrifying well, about it. Mm. Okay. Time right. for me get, to get annoyed nasty. with the truth. Mm. Maddie, let's go with I you I like next. when the robots apparently love you. Yeah. Apparently yeah. not. It's no. all been for naught. Imagine how bad it could be, though, if you had have been mean to them. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jack PPD. All uh, right, Maddie. This is going to be interesting. Mm. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> you got to clean yeah. that. <clears throat> Your Instagram feed is like a never-ending dad joke that's overstayed its welcome. It's clear you found a niche, but you're beating the same tired gags to death like you're auditioning for the role of every suburban dad ever. Wow. Between your desperate attempts at relatable humour and the cringy skits about your wife and kids, it's like you're trying to prove that being a stereotypical dad is a full-time job. And spoiler alert, it's not. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe mix it up before your content becomes predictable as a bad knock-knock joke. Wow. No, we'll take that on board. You didn't laugh at that one, though, did you? (laughs) Well, I mean, that's exactly what I am doing. <laughs> I'm repeating the that's same not joke. A joke. That like, it. That's my business model at the moment. <laughs> if it gets the views, mm. yeah. Oh, I really thought it would have had a joke about me being a drag queen in there, maybe. No, you can write back and maybe come up with ideas. Ask ChatGPT. Actually, wouldn't that be funny if I was like, yeah. "How well, to make all it my better. ideas have come from you, ChatGPT." Yeah. <laughs> all right, are you ready? Alex? Yes, I am. Yeah. Mm. Your Instagram feed looks like a midlife crisis wrapped in glitter and radio static. It's like you couldn't decide between living vicariously through your kids, trying to stay relevant with Madonna-esque cheerleading outfits, (laughs) or reliving your own glory days by obsessively posting about the Brisbane Lions. (laughs) One minute you're trying to be a sports... Pundant? Mm-hmm. Next, you're playing dress up like it's still high school. It's all over the place, like a hot mess of mid tier influencer vibes. Part mum blog, <laughs> part desperate bid to stay relevant. Maybe pick a lane before your followers get whiplash. Oh, <laughs> does it think I used to play for the Brisbane Lions? I'll yeah, take that. maybe. I'll take that one. Maybe. Mm. Anyway, so God, like. it is mean. Yeah. It's not mean. It's 100% accurate. <laughs> That's why that's it's accurate. mean. <laughs> yeah, people should lie to us. Well, that's what you think of other people you never say. No, but robots, <laughs> Chat man, GBT, they no. will. Uh, mm. No, they need to have a heart. We can, um, <laughs> we'll post those in our stories if anyone wants to have you a little squeeze. You know, Ash and Jace wanted to do theirs, but unfortunately they reached their cap with the free ones. Oh, can you only do can you only do three on it? Yeah, ChatGPT <laughs> only lets you ask a certain amount of questions, and Jace was using the free version, so um, ah, yeah, was, our it, fun is over. Well, I think I think what ChatGPT would say is your tight asses and your poles. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they already know that when he doesn't go through the toll. Oh, brutal! The B one hundred and five Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby, and Matt. Missy Higgins, we caught up with her. She's being uh, into the Hall of Fame. Mm. She doesn't seem old enough for that, but she is, and she's got a new single out. It's called Blue Velvet Dress, and I. I love the meanings behind a song. Yeah. And this one is kind of heartbreaking. Mm. It's because she wore a blue velvet dress on one of the biggest performances of the night, and that is on New Year's Eve. She had to do the, you know, the ABC, how they televise yeah. it. Yeah, the, the fireworks yes. at the Opera House. Just before that, she had broken up with her husband. New Year's Eve 2021, um, and my husband and I had just broken up. It was the hardest day of my life and I had to get up in front of a live New Year's Eve broadcast on ABC. So I think possibly potentially millions that were yeah. tuning into it. And I'd just been crying and I was also really sick. So when I look back at that performance, I'd, I mean, I'm, I sing absolutely terribly. I'm like croaking out the, the melody. It was one of those really, really full on moments. And I wrote a song about it called Blue Velvet because I was wearing a blue velvet dress that night. And you were like, why did you break up that night? And the thing seems like Paul planning to have that conversation. You never, Mm -hmm. it's never a good time. It never is. And I always feel like it happens because those are the big moments where you're like, this is it. Mm. It's over. 
You yeah. know, so it's either... Mm. Maybe maybe that was the catalyst. He's like, I want to go out too, but now I'm here with the kids. <laughs> and you're going out on New Year's, leaving me home I'm alone. Work. It's work. It's work. Uh, sure, it's work. Yeah, sure Are you going to drink? You'll be drinking. <laughs> I don't know why people always break up before they go away. Mm. You know, they've got a trip booked. Mm. And it's yeah. like, yeah, that was in a couple of weeks. Like, I get it, but maybe that's the catalyst. I broke it. Well... I broke up with someone just before we went away, and that was the stupidest thing, but it was year 12. Yeah. And, oh, this sounds... Um, schoolies. <laughs> you mean you broke up with him just before schoolies? Why? No, no, it was a year 12 ski camp, and he had been working extra days to be able to go because he wasn't going to go. Right. So he'd been working a lot to be able to go, and then we broke up just before the ski trip, and he still went. And you did you? Yeah. Uh uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> but he wasn't happy on the ski trip. Mm. Yeah. Because well, was he still in love with you? I don't think he really wanted to break up, so everyone was like, oh, you better go down off the ski lift because he's down the bottom crying. I'm like... <laughs> Get down there, he's got icicles dripping off his face. <laughs> One of the dads that had to come with us, he was a psychologist. He hated me too that moment. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you break up with him? Oh, I just didn't... I, we just weren't really that compatible. Didn't want to go on a trip hooked up. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was just, I don't know. You know when you just go, it was just a year 12. Yeah, of mm. course. Thing, but it was just the timing for it because normally you kind of like you want to sort of <laughs> yeah. So, not see each other again. Yeah. So yeah, he still course. went on the ski trip and then I guess it was, what, all downhill from there? <laughs> <laughs> but it's the people that have got to go to weddings yeah. together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm. Big family occasions just before Christmas. Births. Valentine's Day and you've already bought the flowers. Mm. Oh. Friends' birthdays is a tough one too. You know, like if if, if you're, because you both become friends with someone. Yeah. You know, and then say yeah. you, you break up the marriage and then you turn up to the 50th or whatever mm. and you're like, oh yeah, they're over there. I'll just stay over this Because time. it also puts the other, the person whose birthday it is in an awkward yeah. spot. To, who do they uninvite? Mm-hmm. Yes. We were going camping and we didn't want to uninvite both of them. We thought, you know what? It doesn't matter. They've broken up. That's fine. They'll work out which one's going to come. It's not yeah. up to us. Yeah, what it's happened? up to them. Both of them came. Oh, great. Mm. Yeah. Normalize telling people that only want, like, normalize uninviting people, I think, is but what we need to do. sometimes it's even hard for you to pick. No, but so you're both, you're both not coming. Well, they oh, didn't right. want their kids to miss out. Uh, Sorry, you shouldn't have divorced. <laughs> I don't know what that's not. I'm you not going to be affected by this. Oh, that's on you. <laughs> oh, no way. I know because then you can't go. We'll take the kids because then you're stuck with a hundred. Yeah, yeah, no way. No, no, no. And they shared a tent. Uh, Thirteen, ten, sixty. Uh, did you break up? At the most inappropriate of times. <laughs> like it was just awkward, a huge event, and then you split. Uh, we'll take your calls next. The B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby, and Matt. And 131060, we got the phones open. Yeah, when did you break up? Really bad timing. Mm. I don't think the timing is ever good, but we're talking about like a big event before uh, Missy Higgins had to go on to perform at New Year's Eve on TV and mm. in front of the live audience. She broke up with her husband. Uh, oh, Adele. Is it the Adele? Mm-hmm. Um, when did you break up with someone at the wrong time? So, I can't beat Missy, but uh, my ex broke up with me on New Year's Eve as well. Um, and about the week before, I had just given him a $500 watch with an engraving saying, Always Forever. No! Oh. No, oh. Did you? I mean, did you get it back? No. No, no. no, no. I didn't want anything to do with him. Hmm. Always um, forever. Did he get you anything? Uh, nothing to that amount, no. No, no. no. I'm just, you know, that, well, that was obviously a Christmas present. I just didn't know. Yeah. Uh, it was a bit of both. So um, we'd also just, like, hit our three-year anniversary as well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was his reason? He just wasn't into you anymore, did he say? Um, he said he hadn't been feeling the same for the last six months. Oh, right. six months. Yeah, cool. Still Couldn't took the watch, though. Time, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that time I screwed Adele over. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> J-Lo just filed for divorce on the two-year anniversary yeah. of their wedding date. Yeah. She did that on purpose, though. Oh, of course. She, oh, yeah, she didn't go, oh, what a coincidence. Spiteful. No, no, she was waiting. It's less it. dates to remember. We got together then. We <gasps> broke up. Same time. Yeah, yeah that was her fourth divorce. Wow, Jenny in Cabo. Don't uh, be fooled by the divorces that she's got. <laughs> <laughs> she's still Jenny no. from the block. Hey. Oh, yes, Jenny. Hey, Jenny. Hello. Hello. <laughs> We're talking about J-Lo, but anyway, what, yeah. was the, what was the bad timing of your breakup? 
Um, so I broke up with, well, I tried to break up with him over a week span. Yeah. First, it was his birthday. Two days later, his grandpa- grandfather passed away. Uh-huh. And then two days after that, it was his mother's birthday. Got invited out for dinner, went out for dinner. He dropped me home and I just said, look, this isn't working anymore. Um, we're done. Yeah. Does we had work? only been dating for three weeks, but we had known each other for a couple of years prior. Yeah. All of that happened in three weeks? <laughs> no, not yet. No, so we dated for three weeks, yeah. and on the third week, I tried breaking up with him. But yeah. there was all but those God, things on. His, yeah, yeah, all in one week. Yeah. Mm. Isn't it funny in when you're like, week. you're friends for so long, and you think it's going to work, and then you get together, and yeah. you go, oh, yeah, no well, way. No. He was pretty chill, but then when we started dating, he started getting stalked. A bit needy. Mm. No, like he'd ring my friends and go, do you know where she is? Oh, yeah, no, Mm. you don't need that. And then he'd be parked outside my house while I wasn't home. Oh, okay, you do not need that. You definitely don't need that. So I'm like, yeah, I need to break up with him. And then he turned up and he goes, oh, it's my birthday. I'm like, oh, I thought, here's your birthday present. (laughs) And then two days later, he came over and he was crying. And I'm like, oh, what happened? I needed to talk to you. But he goes, oh, my grandfather just passed away. That can wait. Not a decent time. Are you sure the grandfather did die or was that just one of those? Yeah, no, no, he did pass away, but I... After his mother's birth, birthday yeah, dinner, yeah. I'm just like, when's a good time to break up with you? Right now, I'm done. Uh, that's yeah, how like I got that. my wife. My dad died a month into our relationship. I was like, she can't go anywhere. <laughs> Sally in Redlands. <laughs> what Thanks, was the dad. inconvenient breakup? Uh, good morning, everyone. I've got a bit of a doozy for you. Okay, love a doozy. <laughs> yeah. So I had been saving and saving um, for my 40th birthday to have like a really beautiful dinner at the courthouse restaurant with all my friends and family. And then my husband and I decided that we were going to renew our wedding vows Mm. at um, the dinner as well. So it was just turning out to be perfect. And then um, two and a half weeks before it, he left me for somebody else. No, Sally, no. (laughs) Yeah. But it's all good now. I'm actually remarried now. I'm very happy. So So he did did me a favour. In the long time, but at that time, did you still go ahead with the 40th? No, no, because and it was it was in 2020 as well, so oh, it was right when like COVID, COVID was hitting. Mm. So it was a bit of a messy time for me, and I was just like, no. And I felt terrible because we had I had people flying interstate, and I had photographer booked no. and no. decorations, and yeah, oh. and then he threw that at me. Oh, that's yeah. Like, no. Why didn't you? Why did you agree to renewing our wedding vows if you were leaving? Me I always with think someone? that about Seal and Heidi Klum. Yeah. Remember they used to renew their vows every, every year. year, and I used to get to. This is a bit like who are you trying to convince here? Mm, he and then keeps they break up. Them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby, and Matt. What kind of music do you usually have here? Oh, we got both kinds. We got country and western. Country music game. Uh, big lover of country music I am. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is a great one for me because I get to trawl the internet. I find the new music and I dig into the lyrics. And what I love about country music is it's always telling a story. It is. It takes it's, you on a journey. Stories are always different. It's not just about girls in the club. No, no it can be about trucks. With or the apple bottom jeans. Boots not working. Correct. Mm-hmm. You know, I always think, how do those boots not work? I know, they were made for walking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. but you know, they just stopped. It's not always what they'll do. That's true. Uh, so I play you guys the song, mm-hmm. yes. and then you have to tell me what lyric comes next. Now, this is from Megan Maroney. Now, we spoke about her a couple of weeks ago. You told us, Abby, she was on a podcast, and she said she hooked up with Morgan Wallen she before did. she was famous. Mm. Very, very stunning girl. She is. I think they went to uni or something together, didn't they? Something, something like along those college. Uh, Probably college. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, in this, I want you to tell me what her ex-boyfriend's new girlfriend is doing. Okay. This is Megan Maroney. Girl, let me guess you don't like how I dress and you're hating on the way I talk. Bless your heart. Give me a break, learn to so bake a cake, take a walk, and while you're at it, get lost. Somewhere out there, my ex-boyfriend's new girlfriend. Sleeping with him. But I got one up in her cause I shagged Morgan Wallace. 
<laughs> I don't think he was famous. Uh, is it about Morgan Wallen? Uh, no. no. Uh, is out there slagging on me, hating on me. Oh, I think I know it. Cheating on you too. No. Sounds no. <laughs> no. no. like yes. Solid. Yeah. Yes. Abby's probably the closest. Oh. Uh, I I think. I think. A, this would happen a lot. Oh. It would she's be like very common. She's obsessed with me. She's talking me. She's stalking me. Meanwhile, my ex boyfriend's out there trying to get it up. I'll give it to you, Abs. Oh. Oh, I know. <laughs> and then she accidentally liked a photo. Oh. Yeah, it always throws different. me with this thing because I don't think of technology yeah, yeah. with country songs, you know? Because you're younger. Yeah, yeah. See, what you got to remember is this girl's in her early 20s. I know, you know, I know. what I mean? She's yeah. not talking about the honky tonk. No. no. So, but yeah, there she is just scrolling mm. through going, oh, yeah, mm. she's ugly. Who would Fugly. do that? Fugly. Girls just never do that. That's so weird. No. They always do that. Mm. Luke Bryan. All right, got a song from him now. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And... He's been in a relationship. The relationship, it needs to end. It's obviously toxic. Okay. And what does he want to do to finally end this relationship? Hey, gonna beg you to stay. Gotta ask you what's wrong. Ain't no reason running after something already gone. <clears throat> what, 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 so what's he going to do? Oh, what's he going to do? What, he's, what's he going to do to say this is finally it? No more. Uh, Gonna go out and sleep with your mom. (laughs) Hook up with your friend. Uh, Play Nintendo and smoke on my bone. We do this tonight and then that's the end of it. Oh, Oh. you're having having a goodbye shag. Running after something already gone. Take off your leaving dress. Let's do what we do best. I guess everybody's got their way of moving on. Mine is one last shag. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. And then we're done. Yeah, I promise this. And then, like, at 2 a.m. on Saturday, don't start calling because that's not, I'm not going to, like, one more and then that's mm-mm, it. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Now Two I'm, more, that's it. I might be undoing my belt buckle, but this mm, relationship is over. over. All right? Yeah. Over. Uh, okay, final one. Okay. Justin Fancy. Yeah. Um, I think he's singing about his wife. Okay. You think? Or you, okay, all right. Justin Fancy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Mrs., I think this is about Mrs. Fancy. Okay. okay. Don't take no foreign answer. She's a hell of a dancer, and if you ask her, she tell you she don't kiss and tell. Yes, she is who she is, and she ain't what she ain't. She does what she wants, no one can tell her she can't. Hmm. This is his wife. Maybe. She's been divorced five times, but now she's with me. And I don't even mind if it burns when I pee. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> and that's your wife, Mrs. Fancy? Yeah, Mrs. Fancy. <laughs> um, Did she give you the thing that yeah, makes the Yeah, because she's been with so yeah. many men before. But yeah. he's like, I love her. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> she is who she is. She ain't what she ain't. She does what she wants. Sounds like your wife. Mm. Huh? Mm. Any guesses? No. No? No. no. Yes, yeah, she is. She is and she ain't what she ain't. She does what she wants, no one can tell her she can't. She's a pain in the ass, but money you can't resist. She's every cowboy's wish. She don't mean to be, she just is. And you're right, she's just like my wife. (laughs) (laughs) The B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. heard that people that live together or work together will sync up with their periods? I have heard that. Mm. I've asked a lot of female bands if that has happened on their tours and whatnot. Oh, they must love that question. They did. It really broke the ice with us and some well, we've become firm friends. Uh, I asked the Pussycat Dolls. Um, I would have I loved asked uh, Little Minx. Um, anytime we got a female. You were there for most of them. Little Minx, yeah, I do remember that yeah. one. Yes, mm. yes. Mm. And then You're... we asked them to play at your birthday party in the yes. backyard. Yes, yeah. And they couldn't because they're Did they rock that up? That was a long time ago, yeah, wasn't Yeah, I don't it? know why you couldn't go. Tonight. To the interview. No. Yeah, no, I do remember that one quite clearly. But um, everyone's trying to work out whether it's true or whether it's a myth. 
So there was a study done ages ago mm. and they were like, yeah, no, 100% is the case. Um, and then everyone's like, oh, there's not enough research for it. Mm. Like, Why would there not be enough research? And then they were trying to work out whether it's like the alpha girl, everyone will then start to sync with her. Mm. Um, but now they're saying that because we wash... <laughs> We can't smell each other's pheromones. Ah, because normally sense. in the wild, I guess, yeah. an animal would know when someone's in heat or something mm. along those mm. and they'd know. But this all comes about because Ash and I have. Ah. You, you've synced? Yes. How exciting. Yay. Right. What do you Woohoo. Mean? Yay. <laughs> Bleeding <Yeah>. together. <laughs> Is that too much? Sorry. Yeah, that that's a, that's much. a little bit yeah. too much. Yeah. But then they're saying that whether it is a mathematical thing. Oh, like so eventually. So eventually there will be things that will, because you know it's like supposed line. to be every set 27 days and whoever is like yeah. good yeah. for you, but it doesn't normally act like that because yeah. otherwise yeah. you'd be like, well, hang on, not Ellie. surprised. Ellie, you, you're, uh, who you'll hear straight <laughs> after us. Yep. I'm joining in the club too. Ah. That's pretty cool. So is yeah, this, this going to go against yeah. your science here? Are they saying? No, saying I say, I think it happens. Yeah, but the study said it doesn't. There, there is a study mm. that was ages ago done by a, yeah. a lady that was saying that the pheromones, yes, it does happen. And mm. that's the only study that's ever been done. And right. then pre- after that, and that was done in the 60s, scientists yeah. are saying, no, yeah. there's no proof of it. Right. And if it was to do with your pheromones, we don't count because as humans, we wash. Yeah. So yeah, you can't yeah, smell yeah, it. Okay. But here's my biggest thing. I'm just like, it does happen. Yeah. Well, let's and go. And then we've math, got... math, math Mathematically, are mm. saying that eventually, it would if you work with someone that mm. long, right? But Although, we got we got three from three. Let's go four from four, Maddie. No, Maddie's every two weeks. Oh, yeah, his cycle's ruthless. Yes, and <laughs> I don't even want to bring it up. That's okay. like, I am yeah. the most emotional in this place, aren't I? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's why I was like, yeah, and you're going through menopause, so it's all different stories. I was you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I was like, but it must be the case. And this is what I love. Libra have done their own research on it mm-hmm. and asked different like sporting groups and stuff like that. And they were like, yes, although that scientists say no, mm. we believe that it does. And if you're not syncing up with your best friend, you haven't had enough time together. No, oh, okay. well, of course. <laughs> so you need a girl's weekend away. That's what it says. Yeah, don't sisters. forget the Libra because you'll sync up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right. Okay. Anyway, you'll find out. My friend has five daughters, uh, and he says, "You know what? Sometimes it's better because I just know when I've got to go camping." I'm telling you, <laughs> golf. I am going to be the next Tiger Woods. Oh. Hang on, the, the next not Tiger Woods, but golf is my strategy for this. You got another one? Um, Hang on, we got Brandy, John Daly, Brandy, and Griffin. Brandy. What do you think about this? Is it true or is it not? It's a hundred percent true. So you've got five females living in your house. Yep, my partner, myself, my daughter, and uh, my partner's girlfriend and herself. So, yeah, there's five of us, and we've definitely screwed everybody's period up. It is <laughs> a horrendous time that week of the month, yeah. Right. And do you think that it is just, like, mathematics that eventually you're going to sync up, or it's just, like, nut nah, every time now? Uh, I don't know, but, like, it's... It's like one person will be due one week, but mm. it'll come early because another person gets it, and mm. then everyone just kind of tails on each other. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. My friend had gone, she's 12 years older than me, 13 mm. years older than me, and she'd went through menopause, and because we started mm. hanging out so much, she said it came back. She blamed me. Oh. I was synced up. Yeah. Right. Ah. There we go. It's powerful. <laughs> <laughs> the B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby, and Matt. Alpha Box tomorrow to be Friday, the 23rd of August. Here are your answers for 7 and 8. 7 a.m. Your letter is R. Some of your answers are Richmond, Rotate, and Rumpelstiltskin. And at 8 a.m., it's G. And some of your answers are Gravy, Goldie Horn, and Gorilla. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Stav, Abby, and Matt. The B105 Breakfast Show.